can be serious. Let's find out. What the hell? Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. But the bird, but Phoenix Wright sweating, sweating balls. Sweating bullets. Way, I say. Way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I assure you I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Okay, so the killing happened around nine at night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. R room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know, like, normal coffee, but cold. We fucking know what iced coffee is. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. Ice coffee. Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. Wink. Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. You we know. We know that. <laughs> yes. We know that already. <laughs> she was in her hotel room. So where does that leave us? Ah. <laughs> it is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. How? Her testimony stands, she saw the defendant, Maya Fay, commit murder. No, they're going to just let her walk away? There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. Call the bellboy as a witness. Yes. <clears throat> The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunk him quite low already. I object to calling the bellboy. You can't do that. <laughs> Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. You can't object to calling a witness. <laughs> if I call a witness, I call a witness. Tough luck. <laughs> However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. You can't fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> that is my condition. You can't do that. <laughs> This is a whole nother level of illegal. <laughs> what? I'd better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. When I first when I first played this game. Except the when I first played this game and I saw that I was like, fuck, I've probably fucked up and I was like Alright, I've got nothing to lose except well, everything. Understood. I accept your condition. Hmm. You fell right into my trap. Actually, part of greed. Actually, <laughs> no, part of greed. Uh, um, wait. Very well. <laughs> God calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. This is fucking stupid. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. He, he brought his fucking tea <laughs> and coffee. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. Can I have some mm's? <laughs> mm, yes, I'm happy to be of service. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, yes, your hands are <laughs> your hands are sweaty as shit. What? No, they're not. I can see them glistening from here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you give me three, dude? Really? I just had three. Okay. That t-shirt looks rather heavy, so without further ado... The witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. Very good. Have you butlered for uh, a Bruce Wayne? Master Wayne. Master Wayne. I'm the head bellboy at the fine gate water on South Business for Bruce, actually. I believe I received a call after 8 o'clock in the evening from my guest, Miss May. She asked for a nice coffee to be brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to, I guess, Miss May herself. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Oh. 
Right. I'm ready. Help. This is it. I can't prove Miss May was involved. Oh my god, Wicked, you literally out. just came in. Well, I'll what be finished. For a minute? I'm the head bell boy at the fine gate. What do I tell? I believe I received a call after 8 o'clock in the evening from my guest, Miss May. Um, she asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her. I'd press that, because that's really suspicious to say nine on the dot. Nine on the dot, you say? Back <laughs> off! <laughs> yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine... The time of the murder. But to the precise the request of time, of course, and I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. This way wouldn't have any reason to lie, but I have to find someone to use in his testimony. One more time, I'll press him until he spills the beans. The head bellboy, if I can yeah. tell. I believe I received. Press that, maybe. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in personally, sir. Not only did I see her in all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them, and I... <clears throat> the point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. Yes, what then? Just an echo, you go to the night from the report of the pressure's time, of course. I'm just gonna press this for the sake of it. Fair enough. Precisely nine o'clock, then? Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, 9 p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, Melboy, tee I'd like. Like it's. Uh, what the uh, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like. Le, 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 like. Le, le. <laughs> iced coffee at exactly 9 o'clock. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on the door at the crack of 9, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? Nine o'clock on the dot. Nine o'clock on the dot is when she was murdered. <laughs> Don't present it. It's not. There's nothing what to else? present there. What the fuck else? I don't know. Is this something to present? No, you gotta press. This... Nice copy. Do we get press that, baby? You are sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir, as in so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How can we so certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she, she the guest, sir, f favored me with a, um, an em embracer, sir. Um... Embracer? Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. It's a French kiss. With, with Why would she have insane. done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never forget. Ever, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. It's no good. There's nothing there. Is, is that it? Disc, disc. Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you had any decency, you would end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm, it was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. Can't this happen, can I? No! <laughs> Not now! Wait, please wait. Yes, does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of this charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question. That's all. Okay. This is really it. 
Now, it's my last chance. What do I ask him about? Fuck. He's bad making rooms, so I check in. Do you check in? No. Room service, we've already heard everything. Bed making. Because the bed was made recently. How is that relevant at all? When she was in the room. Again, how, like, how is that tie? Fuck it, I'm asking it. <laughs> didn't check in, no. <laughs> I'm asking about bed Fuck making. No, I just didn't check in. Why would I do check in? Because you might fuck up. Then we have to do the whole fucking case again. I can save it here. Then save it, then and do bed making, sure. Bed. Bed making. Tell me about making beds that day. I was wondering what, what you were going to ask, but bed making? A new low. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth, <laughs> to answer the better's question. I really need to know how to make my bed better. <laughs> yes, well, it was quite like any other day's bed making. I changed the sheets, the pillowcase, and then I proceeded to make the bed. I had to bring pillows for two, of course, but they were quite light, you see. I see. Wait, wait, hold on. Pillow for two? There's no fucking way you pulled that off. No, 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 okay. I think you get the answer from no matter what you chose, because I've never chosen bed making and I've succeeded. Eat shit. Fuck. <laughs> Bell boy, what did you just say? <coughs> uh, uh, yes. <coughs> Pillows are light, sir. Bell boy, tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? I object. That was objectionable. <laughs> Fuck up, <I'm> cunt. <laughs> Objection <laughs> The witness will answer the question. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you were. I, you didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Uh, yes, quite indeed. It was the uh, good. Brewster there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... He asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. <coughs> you fool. Yeah, pros yeah, pros yeah, the prosecutors are fairly shifty in this game. <laughs> I've done it. I've won. No, you haven't. Oh. Ms. April May checked into a twin room with a man, correct? Y yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Simple. It was... The man with Miss May. Duh. Duh. The bellboy. <laughs> the man who checked in with Miss May. <laughs> Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone, yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. No, oh, what a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? You'd like that, wouldn't you? You Squidward. After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I'm a church. These accusations are ludicrous. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is all today for the trial of my FA. Court is adjourned. We survived. September 7th, 224 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. 
Mr. Wright, you're amazing in there. Wow, I need to go up now. It's been two episodes since I've gone up. Well, roughly two. I don't know. <coughs> really? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think I'm going to be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool, too. Huh? That face of his with his eyes wide and trembling lips. It sent shivers up my spine. Hmm. If you say so. So what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Um, well... No, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I've got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man with his may. He's the key. Oh, I get it. You're gonna, like, open the door, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> what happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir! I'm gonna find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was so down for a bit. I noticed. <laughs> ADHD's really bad. <laughs> Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry, <clears throat> I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I th no, I was talking about the cyst on my foot. <laughs> I think I think this case only has two trial days, and then the rest of them from here on I have three, I think. Right. I'm counting on you. Please, please don't oh, fuck up. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. Now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. Any testimony added to the court record. I wonder how much good will come. Will come. <laughs> Come. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center and it's up to me to set her free. Yeah, by the way, in case you haven't noticed, Maya basically joins Phoenix for like the rest of the game. I know. Yeah. Cool. Almost purely because of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix, look, I have a new observation. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Yeah. yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright. Uh, save the progress. Phoenix, don't worry, I'll save you from the senator. Bye bye bye! <laughs> I'm a friend you autopsy report. <laughs> September seventh. Three eleven PM, detention center. Visitors room. Why am I looking at my shit? Well hello. Now you talking like the bellboy. I don't want to do a voice anymore. You want me to do it? It's so much effort. You want me going low? <laughs> going as low as I am for her. Okay, okay, okay. Do you want me Do you want me to do a whole new voice or do you go the same as yours? Or yours was? Do a whole new voice. Alright. <laughs> Fuck me, okay. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. Gosh. It's really quite moving. Can I get this? Toothpick out of my fucking microphone. How'd you do that? What? I don't know. How the fuck did you just do that? I just noticed it. What the fuck? I'm sure this sounds great. <laughs> I don't know. I just noticed it in there. Anyway, while you're doing that, it's really quite moving. Not you, stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. And now it's you. Yeah, let no, me not let me try. really. That's let something I wanted to ask. <laughs> you fucking put it back in. I didn't do that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You touched it. I didn't. Stop touching it. I touched, I touched this part. Touch my dick. Alright, here, here. Oh, there you go. That's <laughs> us. Thank God. I'm gonna get it back on. <laughs> oh. Anyway. <laughs> Don't put it in your mouth, dude! Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough of enough questioning, you spiky head? 
we go again. On my own. Bow, bow. Shall we start um, questioning her next time? On the only road I've ever known. Next time. <laughs> next time. Here I go again. On my own. Next time. Next time. Ah! Oh. This is a bit mean. What? This is a bit rude of you. What? Just say, ah. Uh. That's yeah. what we usually do. Ha!